I'm Daniela Carlino and I'm here at the Scribe Republic Library and I'm here with my grade 8 class from Holy Angels. We made up this time capsule in our French class with Mrs. Morris back in 2007. And yeah, we were supposed to open it up in 2020. We all know what happened in 2020, but we're here now. So we're all really excited to crack it open, see what the heck we put in there. Yeah, well, I'm Cody. I was a class of 2006, 2007 Holy Angels. Uh, they did this time capsule French class. Uh, Interesting, I made the box. Uh, all of scrap wood, I got kind of a little thing of mine. I loved carpentry as a, a child, and I'm pretty sure in grade eight I thought I was going to be a carpenter, and that's ultimately not what happened. I ended up going to become a mechanical engineer instead, but uh, yeah, I made the box, and everything is more or less thrifted from it since I was only like what, 12 years old at the time, where it was, and uh, yeah, so kind of exciting to finally get here, even though we're, we are a little bit late on it, but it's nice to, nice to finally get here. Now, you guys all know what's inside, you just haven't seen it for a long time, right? Yeah. Or you kind of forget? I'm pretty sure I remember what I have in there. So I have a couple coins in there, I think there's a little grave there, because I had monster trucks bought at that time, so I'm pretty sure that's, that's what's in there. Hi, my name is David Costa. I am part of the 2006-2007 class of uh, Holy Angel School. Uh, I actually work here at the library as the assistant librarian. Uh, and today we're gonna find out what's in the box. Excellent, did you know then what you'd be doing now? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not an answer. <laughs> so I'm Kimberly Fairservice, but now I'm actually going by all Grin because they got married since we've made this back in 2007. Um, we're here at the Scriber Public Library um, to open our grade eight time capsule from French class at Holy Angel School. Um, back then, I think I wanted to be a teacher, and since then, when we went to high school, I decided I like sciencey stuff, and I've actually been a nurse for eight years, and now I'm the nurse practitioner here in Scriber and Terrace Bay. What do you expect to find in there, or do you know what's in there, or is there a surprise you might be? Like Cody said, I think there's a tickle in the elmo that might be mine, but we'll have to see what our letter says. Um, but other than that, we're just looking forward to seeing it, and I can't remember what else might be in there. <laughs> Oh, I feel old. Um, so on this, I'm Aaron Karangi, but now I'm Aaron Costa. Um, what is it? Yeah, I feel old, but I feel grateful, I think, to be here and to see everyone again, because it's been so long. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm curious to see, did we have to say what we thought where we'd be today? Yeah. So, so now you're here. So yeah. now I'm here, and I don't think the path that I took now is the same as what I wrote in here. If you interview Kareen Campbell, also known as Kareen Johnson, she probably <laughs> said she was going to be a singer. <laughs> so, how's that working out for you? Right? So, um, yeah, very happy and grateful to be here today. Is there a stool? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you have to stand. Oh, I was going to stand higher. I really don't know what to expect. I was just kind of saying to the girls, I'm terrified to see what's in it because I don't know what mental state I was in at that time. Um, I, I'm happy to be here. I, I honestly didn't know where I saw myself. I don't know where I saw myself then, and I don't know where I see myself now. So I, on, I don't know. I'm done. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to see everybody again. It's really weird because I haven't seen anyone in 12 years. 13, how long has it been? 13 years? I am Kareen Campbell, now Kareen Johnson. Um, I guess I wanted to be a vet, and I'm not a vet, so yeah. <laughs> I have three kids now, three daughters, so life is busy. Black and yeah. <laughs> 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 Wow, we can get an old tool. Okay, okay, wait, why does this look familiar? Yeah. Oh, that's great. And they all signed it. They all put their names on the back. Oh, for kindergarten. Okay. Look at my why, it's backwards. Some of the other feet were gonna grow. Hey, it's homework. <laughs> that one might be oh mine, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there's some coins. Can I take a <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, this is green. Got a diesel stick. Oh, oh. There's the Elmo, the infamous Elmo. Uh, we're not 100% sure. Yeah. I think that bear is bad. Yeah, we're trying to figure out the Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I think my military gave me that. Uh, I think it's April. You got 18 and 18. I feel like this is something Josh has. Like you're skating, maybe. So that'd be Alexia. That might be Alexia. Yes, I'm very excited. I was looking forward to see what I put in there. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute to go back in time. Do you remember at the time what you put in there? No, no, God, no. I have no memory of what I put in there. That's great. Now, what did you put in there? Maybe you should pull it up and show it to us. <laughs> a hockey puck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I put in there. Okay, now why? Now that you've got it, do you remember why or do you remember why now? Like, is there a connection? No, no, I think it's because at the time the Diesels was, you know, famous at the time, so that's why I put, put it in. This is my mom, Karen, and back in grade eight, we made our time capsule and our parents have all put a letter and a gift in there for us. So we're here today finally opening everything to see what was put in there. Now, Karen, do you remember what oh, you put right. in there for your dog? No, I don't know what to do. No. I'm very busy. Thank you. Just put the letter in a box. Kids have been sleeping in the RV. Oh, wow. some of our old charm bracelets. Oh, so weird. Wow. Necklace with my initials on it. gets sore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just asked us to write a, a letter and I just remember thinking that this is going to be like a lot of years from now yeah. and we don't know where our kids are going to be at. We don't even know where we were going to be at. And yeah. It's just really hard yeah. to think what to write and how to say it so that it sounded kind of open because you don't really know what the future brings but you know yeah. trying to go by the perspective of where your child is at that time in your life. It, it was really hard to write. I, I really struggled writing it. Yeah. So. Yeah. We must have been what, 13, 14? Yeah, you guys were young. Yeah, super yeah. young. Are yeah. you like a big fan? Oh uh, yeah, we always oh, like. That's awesome. Josh. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Sean. Oh, I knew I had coins in there. In the town. I knew I had coins in there. This is friends. <laughs>